Look I at mean, that. I'm wearing my show promo wow. outfit today. Thank I you very much, Twist. I love this look on you. Thank you very much. I, really I love do. that look on you. Thank you. Twist Fashions, we love you. Uh -huh. Yeah, our Lord's shoes are Twist Fashions in play, changing seasons. We got a little Tim Hi, Horn doing? Creek. Yeah. Oh, I was told that when you clank, you have to do this. Mm -hmm. And she told me. And we have our Chips Handsome Brad. I was also told you should not hold Thank the glass you. this way. You should hold it by the stem to look fancy. And also to not warm your white oh. wine. Um, you brought in the chips today, Linda Steele. What yeah. did you bring? Uh, Neil Brothers. This is a Canadian brand of chip. And the salt that? and vinegar. Thank you very much. They're delicious. Pink Himalayan Jody salt. Jody has eaten so many already that we had to plump it up with some barbecue in the background. Busted. Busted. How was your week? Okay. There's a, a story. <laughs> it's been a bit of a week. Clearly. Okay, so our good friend, so the way we met actually was me filling in when you were doing Steel and Drex on yeah. CKNW. So our friend Drex, who you've seen here on the show, if you've been watching for all 12 weeks, he had a massive heart attack on Friday. I saw a picture of him. Do we have this picture? He tweeted a picture of himself in the hospital in his bare, hairy Australian chest with the probes on it and the whatever. I guess we don't have that Terrifying. One. I was like, what yeah. is going on? So he, yeah, long story short, he had the signs and signals of a massive heart attack and phoned his husband who wasn't available to be picked up. There's Otto, his lovely husband. Aww, they just um, got married. They too. just got married. That's me. As, I was his best man, best woman, whatever. Yeah. But he he phoned me in a panic and literally, you know when you answer the phone and somebody like launches into what they're yeah. saying? He's like, something's wrong. And, and he's like, chest is tight. I can't catch my breath. And I said, hang up the phone and call 911. Yes. So he did. He had a 100% blockage on one side of his heart, a 95 on the other. He had a stent put in in 40 minutes. First responders came in 12 minutes total, had him taken care of it, like in the surgery, as he said, theater. Uh, <laughs> within 40 minutes, they saved his life. It was a widow maker. He would have died if he had not called 911. Uh, a stark reminder, particularly to men. For men, cancer and heart disease are the two leading causes of death. Women, too, with heart disease. I, indeed. Yeah. But with men, mm -hmm. women would actually call 911 because well, they'd be like, something's wrong. But this one got Drex, who we love, and Drex, get better, stop tweeting. I mean, this is a guy. Here he there was on we the are. show. This was on the show. Yeah. Drex, you need to relax. Relax, Drex, yeah. and get better because everybody loves you. And it was very shocking. And a lot of people just want to see you get better. And thanks to this one. It was for giving very you the advice that saved your life. By the grace mm -hmm. of, you know. Um, let's get to some funny stuff and, and, and tell people what's going on in the show today. You found something that is so I was I saw this online the other day on social media. You know, candy canes, we're coming yeah. to the tis of season. Mm -hmm. Well, would you eat these particular candy canes? Caesar <gasps> salad, and they have a hint of anchovy, it says. And I thought, come on, this is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. And yet, when I r shared that, people yeah. said, oh, I ordered some. We're going to do a taste test. So I do not want to see those in my stocking. No, so none do for not, you. Don't order any for me. I will not. I will get you the jelly bellies that, was... that taste like vomit and snot because that's also another <laughs> oh, thing that they thanks. do. They do. They, there's a, like a game you can play with your family over the holidays where you, you're what forced to. What kind of family to... do you have? A really sick and twisted one, and I love you all. Well, almost all. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> Tis the holiday season. Happy holidays, by the way, to all of our American viewers who mm. might be watching on the Check Plus app or streaming us at checkmedia.ca. We love all of the feedback we get from from our viewers. And we'll get to that later on in the show. We got some viewer mail. But one of the things that we've been talking about for the last many weeks was that the VPD have been issuing photos of people who took part allegedly in this riot at the PE, causing $350,000 damage. They arrested a whole ton of them, and now they've released another um, most wanted list of 15 photos. If Let's your linger on kid this. Kid or a boyfriend or a son or a husband was on this pa uh, poster, you'd want to say, what the hell is wrong with people? What the hell is wrong with people indeed. But the interesting thing is, Linda, the last time the police put out these photos, they got everybody. Right. So Almost. whatever you're doing right now, just pause for a second and look at your TV screen, look at your phone, however you're watching us, and look at these faces. Do you know any of these people? If you do, vpd.ca. These are the people that, that tore up the P&E yeah. after the little baby. Little baby wasn't little feeling well. Little baby with, was a baby and didn't do his concert. But these people also like ran through the neighborhood and ransacked places and spaces and broke stuff. Stop like, it. 
right? Just, just. What the hell is wrong with people? Stop it. It's like bad renters. Well, okay, I have thoughts about this. So the EB government came out to our new premier and he said in order to address the housing crisis, he was going to do away with rental restrictions in stratas. I live in a strata. I'm like, mm, well, that could be problematic. So we put out a Twitter poll to see what you thought. Uh, is this good? Is this bad? Because I know some people want to rent. Yeah. Other people do not. Look at the results. We had like over 1,500 votes. Pretty close. 33% want to rent. Almost 40%. No, I would rather only owners live in the building. There's a lot more to this story. This is not an anti-renter story. No, we're going to talk more about it later on in the show too. We'll have a little... Yeah further discussion about that because mm -hmm. we've got some opinions to opine about. We do indeed. I'm surprised at how close those three categories are. I think yeah. it's one of the first Twitter polls that we've put out here on the show that was sort of not definitive. Yeah. Well, Except for the one that got hijacked, hijacked by, by yeah. the uh, anti-vaxxers. Anti-maskers. Well, anti anti Let's talk World Cup. Okay. FIFA World Cup soccer in Qatar. So a couple things. Qatar, all, not Qatar. You can, it, you can say Qatar. But it's Qatar. It's Qatar. So in Qatar, where they announced, oh, no, you can't drink beer in the stands when you're watching the soccer game and it's super hot out. So some fans are doing a workaround. Check this out. They've just got these, you know, sleeves that you put over your beer can. I did that to get by the park board yeah, down at Kids Beach. Qatar, <laughs> this is not new. And they catch you, you're oh, going yeah, to you're jail. In so you're you're, in you're, there's a risk there. But a bigger issue is the fact that this is a really homophobic country. And if you're caught in Qatar having sexual relations with even another hands. man or woman, I PDA. you could go to jail you can even get the death sentence and so the, a lot of the teams were going to wear these special armbands called one love armbands so great but yeah no suddenly uh the soccer officials said if you wear that armband you're going to get a yellow card which means the captain would not be able to play would have to go to, off the field so this is not if you cool. get a number of yellow cards it well, turns two. into a red card and yeah. then it becomes a, a detriment to your team in play so it right. can affect the play on the field, which I think is personally, you know, having covered sports for as long as I have, I mean, this was a huge opportunity for FIFA to stand with the LGBTQ2 yeah. plus community on the field of their event in Qatar, the Qatari government who brought the World Cup there. They changed the time of year for the World Cup to it's be all about money. But it is all about money. But there is there's no way that they would have halted this event because of an armband. You think so? so? I think oh, I th they don't want to risk it. No, I think so FIFA no. shouldn't have allowed it no. to, to stop. We're going to get into it yeah. more. Uh, Handsome Brad's going to chime in on this. We're going to yeah. we're going to enact the Brad cam in the show today. So we're going to talk more about we this coming up. We have to talk up. a little bit about Elon Musk, as much as I hate to, uh, oh, because so of course of he's the guy who spent forty four billion dollars to take so over Twitter. And he reinstated Donald Trump. And he has just such a childish, immature, erratic man, man baby. So this is what he tweeted the other day. Uh, well, a lot of people were dismayed that Donald Trump was allowed back on the platform because he spewed a bunch of He's not crap. even coming back on the platform. Well, this is the thing. So here's right. the next tweet from Elon. Oh, come on. Hello, Donald. Please, 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 Trump. Trump says, I'm not going to okay, tweet. So here's the I'm thing. going to stay on Truth Social. Here's the that thing that gets me like about Trump. Elon Musk, though. He is all about the engagement, right? So he keeps saying, well, interestingly enough, as soon as I did that, I mean, all the engagement, engagement went up. We're feeding the monster when we click on the stuff. We're yeah, feeding the monster when we reply to this guy. Like, you, it's, it's, it is ruining the platform to some degree for a lot of people. I don't notice any change on mine. Maybe it's because I block all the trolls and bots. I don't know. Yeah. But here's some good that. news. Let's okay, talk good about news. something good. Okay, yeah. Last week we talked about the high price of food. Lettuce in particular yes. was, you know, nine bucks for romaine. If this is a problem in your family and it's really an issue with you just can't stretch the dollars, there is a new app for that. And it is actually something that is called, I'm trying to find it, Too Good To Go. This is an app that's been used in the Metro Vancouver area. 35,000 people have. It's free. You can download it. So great. It will direct you to businesses and stores and grocery stores and whatever that will create surprise bags of um pastries and produce yeah and produce whatever. that it might be a Help little bit ugly or something to, a bit longer i think we've all learned linda that the best before I, you're not really a, a cook type of person but the best before date if you buy something is made for you to consume right. more if it doesn't look good it doesn't smell good doesn't mean it doesn't matter if the best be and if the best before date is tomorrow and it doesn't smell good today is the best or get rid of it right. like there's 
but being able to pick up whatever that surprise package might be and putting it all in a pot and making some soup for your family, I mean, that's that's something that really matters in these times of struggle yeah, for so many. or having some yummy bread yeah. or some pizza or yeah. whatever it is. This is something you could check out because a lot of people are finding it's a way to... Coming up on the show, yeah. Finding out, I, I gotta get this in because okay. what the hell is wrong with people is today and you're not gonna be... You, get a load of this. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's Coquitlam. <laughs> yeah, right. We're going to tell you more about that. But still ahead, he said he was going to hit the ground running and David Eby is delivering his drop in some big announcements on the RCMP, housing, prolific offenders. Our Czech political correspondent, Rob Shaw, with what you need to know next.